Absolutely not. Well, actually, yes. Um, maybe? Hey, sterile processing professionals, Brandon the Sterile Guy here. And in today's video, we're gonna settle the argument once and for all, which is can you run an IUSS cycle for implants. There are a lot of opinions on this subject and most people right up front will say no, and I'm not saying they're wrong. I think the answer should always lean towards no up front because we never want IUSS to be something that is a go-to for sterilizing implants or even instruments at that matter. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit subscribe. Over 70% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed click that button. We already struggle with IUSS so much, the last thing we wanna do is make it just legitimate for everyone to just use it for implants and instruments. That's not what it's intended for. We wouldn't have such a problem with the definitions of IUSS if we hadn't had a company trying to sell something saying, it is for IUSS, wait, it's not. You can terminal storage, wait, you can use it for IUSS. That's not what IUSS means. Really? So here's the deal. IUSS should never be used on instruments or implants unless it is a true urgent situation. And an urgent situation would be something that threatens life, limb, or eyesight. Amy ST79 2017 clearly states in chapter 10.2.3, IUSS is only for urgent situations. And that's talking about IUSS altogether. It is not just talking about implants. Something like 12 loaner cases for a, a total knee coming in two to three hours before the procedure is not an excuse for IUSS, ever. Chapter 10.2.3 also says IUSS cannot be used as convenience for lack of instrumentation. So what that means is if you have four total knees scheduled back to back in a single day and you only have two total knee systems, that's not gonna cut it. How are you gonna get those effectively turned over and actually ensure the entire process for all those trays were correctly followed and sterilized all while you're doing every other case's stuff? If I was Joint Commission and I saw your facility using IUSS for convenience like that, I'd shut you down. And I would hope that would send a strong message to your leadership to get their shit together and to support you, buy more instrumentation, work with the vendors to get more consigned or loaned instrumentation and solve this problem. I'm tired of patients' lives being put at risk and I'm tired of sterile processing techs feeling like they have to cut corners just to get the job done so they don't get in trouble. It's a bunch of capitalistic bullshit. When it comes to IUSS of implants, the answer is no, unless you have an urgent situation and you have a surgeon who signs off on the early release waiver that you're gonna use this item before the readout of the biologicals. And this can be like a physical signature, this could be a doctor's order that a nurse can, can document within the notes. It has to be something like that. And did I mention that yet? A biological absolutely has to be ran in an implant load, whether it's a regular terminal sterilization or it's an IUSS load, it doesn't matter. With instruments, it just has to be at least ran daily. So if you've ran in a biological that day, then you don't necessarily need to use a biological, but with IUSS, you really should. And last thing, the manufacturer absolutely must have validation for IUSS for that implant or instrument you're using. If there is not an urgent situation or the manufacturer has not approved it, no. The best thing is to have your leadership set hard policies that loaner instrumentation is brought in specifically a certain number of hours or days ahead of procedures and also that enough instrumentation should be consigned to right size your surgical schedule. There should be limits. How many total knees can you schedule in a day and actually support without a rapid turnover? And they need to stand strong on that. So if a surgeon disobeys it, they need to force them to cancel the procedure. That's what we did and it created a massive change in thinking with the surgeons and actually created this incredible process where we went from 10 to 15 IUSS uh, cycles per month 
to zero. We actually made it almost an entire year without a single IUSS. So can you IUSS implants? Yes, but only if the manufacturer has validated it and it's written in their IFUs and it is a true urgent situation and it's documented. And one last thing, we all know that doctors are very quick to state their procedure is urgent to make something happen because they don't wanna wait. But here's the issue. Any unnecessary length of time under anesthesia is a higher risk for complications for patients. It's not good. Is it strong enough of an argument to say unnecessary time under anesthesia to wait for the proper sterilization of an instrument or implant? Will that pass the Joint Commission sniff test? I don't know. I would say probably not, but it's probably gonna come down to the licensed clinical person on the Joint Commission team who evaluates it, who talks with the doctor, and they'll make a final determination if they truly feel that was urgent or if it was a reckless decision by a physician. And in these events, when a doctor does declare an emergency and wants it early, make sure it's in writing. So I would make sure your registered nurse documents that somewhere because a registered nurse is authorized to take a verbal order from a physician and then you also document it in your sterile processing paperwork. That way when Joint Commission reviews, you can display all the evidence, you can show that it was the doctor's decision and if that decision wasn't appropriate, it'll be the doctor who stands on the red carpet. And that, my friends, is IUSS and implants. Yes, you can only if it is validated by the manufacturer in writing in an IFU, and it is an urgent situation with a physician release. Any topics or videos you wanna see, don't hesitate to put it in the comments down below. Please like and please, please, please subscribe. There's 70% or more of you that aren't subscribed. I love you guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.